Hey guys, welcome to Spread the Magic. It's Wednesday. Um, I got a haircut. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks really funny when it's like, wait, like that. And all you can see is that because it's like, that's way more short. Anyway, you probably don't care. Um, moving on. Okay, and so Emma um, Watson did a behind the scenes thing for um, Glamour magazine. And she is starting her promo tour for Perks of Being a Wallflower. Um, and I really love that. I want to see that really bad. Um, but anyway, um, I know we've been talking a lot about things that are going to be in the Wizards Collection. It's just because the Wizards Collection is going to be this fantastic thing. And I think that everybody should... I mean, it's really expensive. So I don't think everybody should buy it because of how much it is. But um, at least be interested in it. I know... I'm really interested in it, and I'm really excited about it. Um, and getting to get all these sneak peeks at it is going to be really, is really cool already. Um, but there was a interview between J.K. Rowling and um, Steve Close, and they talk about a couple of things in Harry Potter, and I really like it. And so there's a link down to that clip down below. Um, and then Bonnie Wright and Helen McCrory did. A, um, a photo shoot with Marie Claire with um, a bunch of other British actresses like if you watch Doctor Who Karen Gillan, Amy Pond um, also did also was in it and um, there's a really cool video that I watched too um, about that down below and um, some of the sh uh, Bonnie was in um, Westminster Abbey and so in some of the shots it looks like she's walking down uh, the Hogwarts corridor so I think that's cool um, and it looks it really looks like that all right so I know we didn't post a video on Monday and it was my Monday um, but that's mostly because we don't have a theme for this week and um, this week is going to be more laid back and us just kind of hanging out with you guys um, and we really um, I'm really excited because also we are unveiling our house cup tournament which is going to since um, the start of term was Saturday September 1st um, we decided to start this this week and basically we're going to be asking questions here and on the Facebook page and we're going to be racking up points and so um, and how you answer will be down in comments if it's a question in the um, in the video and then just on the Facebook page you comment or uh, message it to us whenever um, and so the first person for the correct, with the correct answer will obviously get the points and um, post your house with it so that we know which house to reward points to um, and sometimes it'll be trivia about the book, sometimes it'll be trivia about, like, a subject, sometimes it'll be a fill-in-the-blank, it, it's going to be all a bunch of stuff, and, um, I'm pumped about that, and I know it's going to be awesome, and it's going to go until the end of the, ter end, end of the school year would be, um, at Hogwarts, and so it's going to be until next June. Okay, so it's time for the first House Points question. Um, so, drum roll. Okay. This is probably a question you've heard before. I know I just totally ruined the drum roll. Oh, well. This is probably a question you've heard before. Um, but what was the total amount of points that Gryffindor earned in Harry's first year? And by how many points did Gryffindor beat Slytherin? Okay, you got it? What was the total amount of points that Harry earned in his first year? And how far ahead of Slytherin were they? So, if you answer those questions down below, and if you, um, write your house, then, um, you can get 50 house points to start off the year, um, for your house. So, comment, 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 um, and don't forget your house, because that's super important, super, super, super important. I can't stress that enough. Um, if you don't have your house, you don't get the points, and the next person who gets it, gets it. Alright, I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.